in this part, I, I want to practice um, how to create questions like yes and no questions or also called affirmative questions. So I have a picture here, as you can see, and here are three people with a dog, four people. One is uh, Mr. Bergmann. In German, we say Herr Bergmann. Herr Bergmann. And then Frau Steinmann. In the German language, we don't know if the woman is married or not from only from the title. So we just have Frau. Actually, it could be translated as Miss, because in the English language, if you use Miss, you don't know if she's married or not, right? And then here on the bottom, we have Sarah, and then we have Felix as the dog. Mm -hmm. And now we will discuss what they are doing. Um, I have two sentences, and the first sentence is Herr Bergmann und Felix kommen aus Dortmund. Sie fahren nach München. Okay, now let's analyze what it means. First, Herr Bergmann und Felix. It's clear. It's the man here, Herr Bergmann, and it's the dog Felix. Kommen aus Dortmund. And can you remember what um, kommen means? Kommen. It means ah, to. Uh, they are coming, coming. Aus, yeah. aus is like from, and Dortmund. They are coming from Dortmund. Yes, perfect. Okay. And then the next sentence is Sie fahren nach München. Sie fahren nach München. It means Sie is um, the plural form for um, he, she, it because they are um, two um, people, let's say the dog is a person, um, then we use sie, because we have two, right? So mm -hmm. sie means Herr Bergmann und Felix fahren nach München. Fahren means to drive. And they are in a train, as you can see. So they are sitting in a train and they are uh, driving to Munich. So nach means to, and Munich means, uh, is in German, München, München. Okay, and now I want to, that you repeat uh, after me. Herr Bergmann und Felix. Herr Bergmann und Felix. Kommen aus Dortmund. Kommen on Dortmund. Kommen aus Dortmund. Kommen aus Dortmund. Yes, exactly. And then, Sie fahren nach München. Sie fahren nach München. Right. Okay. And now what I want to do is I give you um, 30 seconds. You just look at the at these two sentences and then I give you a question and you will answer if this question is right or wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have 30 seconds. Okay. So the question here is um, Herr Bergmann. And fail is actually not a question, it's a statement. And you will say if the statement is correct or false. Mm -hmm. Herr Bergmann und Felix fahren nach Dortmund. So, so do you? It's a wrong statement because Herr, Herr Bergmann und Felix fahren nach München. Yes, correct. So here we have uh, nach München. So this is wrong. Yes. Okay. And now um, we want to ask questions. We want to ask the question to the first phrase. So it's actually um, what you can see here. It's kommen Herr Bergmann und Felix aus Dortmund. And then the answer is ja, sie kommen aus Dortmund. So we just want to confirm if they come from Dortmund. Kommen Herr Bergmann und Felix aus Dortmund. Repeat after me. Kommen Herr Bachmann und Felix aus Dortmund. And then the answer is, ja, sie kommen aus Dortmund. Ja, sie kommen aus Dortmund. Okay, and now I will translate the first part, so um, the first two phrases, and then we will do, uh, do the same with the second one. So afterwards we do this one. Okay, first I will translate this and this means kommen Herr Bergmann und Felix aus Dortmund. This means do Mr. Bergmann and Felix come from Dortmund. Dortmund mm -hmm. is a city in uh, North Rhine-Westphalia and um, then the answer is ja, sie kommen aus Dortmund. And this is translated into yes, they come from Dortmund. 
Any questions? Uh, yes, I have a question. So in German, it's like different. We put the verb in the in the beginning and then followed by the rest of the sentence. Is it right? Yes, it's correct. So if you want to make a question, an affirmative question, which you just answer with yes or no, you will put the verb to the beginning. And as you can see here in the normal um, statement, we have common, right? So you will take the same conjugation. So here we have common with en, right? Mm -hmm. So last time we have learned uh, how to conjugate verbs and you will put this verb to the beginning of the sentence. And uh, on this way, you can create the question. So the simple answer is actually just, yeah. This would be a correct answer, but you can also give um, the full sentence. So you can say, yeah, Herr Bergmann und Felix kommen aus Dortmund. And to make the sentence a bit more short, we replace Herr Bergmann und Felix mit Z. Because it's clear about who we are talking. Okay, then let's, let's go to the, um, to the next sentence or the next question. Fahren Herr Bergmann und Felix nach Aachen? Oh, there is one A too much. Fahren Herr Bergmann und Felix nach Aachen? Mm -hmm. And then the answer is Nein, sie fahren nach München. Nein, sie fahren nach München. Okay. Do you think you can translate that? Uh, yes. Uh, so uh, we studied previously, fahren is like driving or going. So fahren, Herr Backman und Felix, nach is like to, and nach is a city. So it means to uh, Herr Backman and Felix are going to Aachen. Yes, correct. Okay, and then the answer? Nein is no. Sie fahren nach München. They are going to München. Okay, perfect. Okay, and now we know what Mr. Bergmann is doing, right? And now we do the same with Frau Steinmann und Sarah. So here um, we have the same here again. Actually, we just um, want to know what is Frau Steinmann and Sarah doing. But I thought we keep this as the homework. And I thought the homework, uh, you, you could answer the homework in the comments. And later I will make a separate video where I discuss all the homeworks. And then they know if they did it right or wrong. Yes. 